Okay, let's take a look at a warranty question. Visions Corporation sells home entertainment systems. The corporation also sells its customers a two-year warranty contract as a separate service. During 2020, Visions sold 20,000 warranty contracts at $99 each. The corporation spent 180,000 servicing warranties during 2020, and it estimates that an additional 900,000 will be spent in the future to service the warranties. Visions recognizes warranty revenue based on the proportion of costs incurred out of at total estimated costs. Prepare Visions journal entry for the sale of the warranty, the cost of servicing the warranties, and the recognition of revenue. So let's start with the sale of the warranty. Sale of warranty. So we know we sold 20,000 warranties at $99 each. So we're going to say 20,000 times 99 is going to give us $1.980 million. So we're going to have debit cash of 1980. And then we're going to have a credit. And the question is, where does the credit go here? So we need to think about warranties and realize that at the when we sold this warranty, we hadn't actually provided any services. We need to recognize the revenue over the term that the, that the warranty is provided. So this credit is actually going to be to unearned revenue, which is a liability on our balance sheet. It's going to be for that same amount. So that's A. B asks us to provide the or record the journal entry for the cost of servicing the warranties. And we are told here we spent 180,000 servicing warranties during 2020. So our entry here, service costs 2020 is going to be debit, warranty expense, 180, and then credit could be cash or AP. Let's just go with cash, 180,000. So that's pretty simple. So we got B. So next we need to look at C. So it says the recognition of revenue under the revenue approach used for service type warranties. And it's really important that we picked up on this sentence here where it says that they recognize revenue based on the proportion of total costs incurred out of total estimated costs. So the first thing we're gonna do, revenue rec, recognition is gonna be, let's figure out what our total cost would be. So we know we already incurred 180,000 during 2020. And we're told in the question here that we're gonna to expect to spend another 900,000. So that means over the life of the warranty, we think we're gonna spend 1,080,000 servicing the warranty, okay? So that's our total cost incurred and our total revenue. So this is our costs. And our total revenue, as we know up here, is this is 1980. So the question is what proportion, what, what revenue are we going to earn? So, <clears throat> so the question is what, well, what proportion of the costs have we incurred so far? And then we're gonna need to, to apply that to the revenue. So this is our total cost that we've incurred, 1080. And we've incurred of that amount right now, we've incurred 180 of 1080. So what percentage of costs have we incurred? Well, if we do that math, we get 16.66%. So if I take 16.66% and I multiply it by the revenue, which is here, 1980, I'm gonna get 300 and three, 330,000 or close there too, depending on the rounding. So the journal entry to actually record this revenue, which is a proportion. So we're saying we've incurred 16% of the costs because we've incurred 180 out of our total anticipated 1,080,000. So we've incurred 16% of what we think we will incur. So we can recognize 16% of the revenue. So we're going to recognize debit and we're gonna debit our unearned revenue because we wanna decrease that liability and we're gonna go credit warranty revenue. And this is gonna go right through our income statement as revenue. We can't put the entire amount through our income statement because we haven't earned it, but this is the amount that we've earned because of the fact that we've already incurred 16% of the costs. So we're recognizing 16% of the revenue, which is that 330,000.